afternoon and welcome to Daily Manna, where we're feeding your faith to solve all your doubts. Once again, we're still in the book of Romans, 15th chapter. Today, we're going to look at verses 23 through 33. And the Bible reads, but now that there is no more place for me to work in these regions. And since I have been longing for many years to visit you, I plan to do so when I go to Spain. I hope to see while see you while passing through and to have you assist me on my journey there. After I've enjoyed your company for a while. Now, however, I am in on my way to Jerusalem in the service of the Lord's people. For Macedonia and Achai were pleased to make a contribution for the poor among the Lord's people in Jerusalem. They were pleased to do it, and indeed they owe it to them. For if the Gentiles have shared in the Jews' spiritual blessings, they owe it to the Jews to share with them their material blessings. So after I have completed this task and have made sure that they have received this contribution, I will go to Spain and visit you on the way. I know that when I come to you, I will come in the full measure of the blessings of Christ. But I urge you, brothers and sisters, by our Lord Jesus Christ and by the love of the Spirit, to join me in my struggle by praying to God for me. <clears throat> Pray that I may be kept safe from the unbelievers in Judea and that the contributions I take to Jerusalem may be favorably received by the Lord's people there so that I may come to you with joy by God's will and in your company be refreshed. The God of peace be with you and all. Amen. Here Paul's talking to about his plans to visit Rome. He realizes that he's been going to all these other regions, but he, he's been preaching the gospel so much that he's touched all the places where they hadn't heard about God. But now he wants to let them know that, hey, I am on my way to see you. But while I was in this particular place, I gathered some donations and contributions from people who were pleased to give it to us to help the church. Understand, they were pleased to give it. They didn't have and didn't hold any grudges. They knew that what they were doing was giving money to Paul because he was going to go give it to the poor. And we have to be that same way. Because he told us in Romans 15 verse 1 that we are who are strong ought to help the weak. <clears throat> and here is that in action. It wasn't just words in the scripture, but here it is in action. Paul has his money and he's going on his way and he's going to take it and deliver it. But what caught my attention was Paul telling his brothers and sisters, hey, I need you to join with me in my struggle to pray for me that I'll be kept safe from the unbelievers. Hmm. Paul understands that prayer works. Hmm. See, you might not realize it. You might think that we have that prayer call at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. just for show. But no, 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 no. See, prayer works. Many of you who are watching know that prayer not only works, it changes situations. Paul knew that he needed prayer to make it from where he was to visit these people in Rome. That there were some unbelievers out there that didn't care anything about the Lord or what Paul was trying to teach them that they were there to stop him because he understood because he was one of those people before the persecutor of the Jews but here Paul is telling us that we ought to pray we ought to always pray for everyone for all our brothers and sisters in Christ to keep them on the right path of serving God and that is so good for us today. We need to pray for one another. So, starting tomorrow, are you willing to wake up at 6 a.m.? Be on the prayer call? 
being in accessory repair for your brothers and sisters. Then again at 6 p.m. Prayer in this day and age is what we all need. Nothing wrong with praying for our fellow man. We're out of time, but we're not out of word. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on the Daily Manor. Same place, same time. Be blessed.